My name's Todd. Um, I'm an aerospace engineer, and I had the IFU surgery uh, about a year ago. I started having back pain about five years ago. I was fishing with my son, and we'd been fly fishing up in this canyon. As soon as I stepped on the trail, it just turned into a scree, and I fell down a cliff that was maybe 10 feet. Went down pretty hard. Uh, felt like lightning went through my body uh, when I hit. You know, about uh, in January of 2019, I was just getting the mail on my way to work. I slipped on some ice. My leg kind of landed the same way I did when I fell down the cliff, and um, things got a lot worse at that point. The pain in my back affected everything about my life. I mean, I I went from being happy and married, and uh, you know, spending a lot of time doing things with my kids, to uh, not being able to work full time. You know, my marriage failed. Everything kind of came apart. I wasn't even able to get to all my kids' events. I tried a lot of treatments for my pain. I mean, the first thing that happened was somebody handed me a bottle of pills, right, and said, uh, you know, it'll go away, call us in a, in a month. Um, that didn't really help. I tried um, physical therapy. I tried um, cortisone shots, um, you know, at least 12 of them, um, maybe more. Um, I did RF ablation at least twice. I'm trying to think, I maybe even three times that I did that. And um, it just, temporary relief at best. It just didn't hold. I mean, the only time that anything helped at all was one of the cortisone shots was done in my SI joint, and that probably should have been assigned to somebody that it was, uh, that that was where my problem was, but people were focused on my discs. I had had um, a problem with L4, L5 many years ago, and um, when I fell, they were just totally focused in on that had to be where the problem was. I think what I remember probably most is I'm used to walking into a doctor's office or having a doctor walk in and they start looking at the the MRIs or the x-rays or something like that and doctors came in and you asked me a few questions and then started manipulating my legs and that was the first time somebody had actually done anything to see, you know, mechanically if there was something wrong. Everybody had just assumed that it was a, a lumbar disc problem of some kind. I'm Dr. Fotis Suslian. I'm a board certified neurosurgeon with fellowship training in complex and minimally invasive spine surgery. I find the sacroiliac joint fascinating in, the, in that it is one of the largest joints in the body and unfortunately is also one of the most undiagnosed or misdiagnosed causes of treatable low back pain. SI joint pain is caused by an increase in the micro motions that happen in the usually very stable sacroiliac joint. When someone is being evaluated for low back pain, most physicians only include two things in their differential, which includes the lumbar spine and the hip joint. And when these two aspects are normal, patients can go undiagnosed for years, like Todd. In my practice, around one-third of patients who are sent to me to rule out the lumbar spine as the cause for their back pain is actually SI joint pain. I'm also referred a lot of patients with long lumbar fusions or undiagnosed reasons for still having severe low back pain that have SI joint pain and require an SI joint fusion. Even if someone is the perfect candidate for an SI fusion, I still treat them like I would treat my own family, meaning you will not get surgery unless you've exhausted all conservative measures. This includes physical therapy, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, further therapeutic and or diagnostic injections. In the right patient who falls under the guidelines for SI joint pain, we have clinically supported surgery now thanks to iFuse. I mean, having back surgery is certainly a, you know, a serious thing to take on, but I, I felt like the way Dr. Seuss explained just made it easy for me to understand and be ready for and um, really at ease when I was going into the surgery that, that this was gonna be the answer for me. You know, between the, the iFuse and, uh, you know, implant and Dr. Seuss land, I, I certainly got my life back. If you believe you, or someone you love has SI joint pain, I would love to have the opportunity to be part of your care.